Welcome everyone, in this video we are going to derive the formula for finding the cosine of the difference of two angles. So our question is, what is cosine of alpha minus beta? Is it perhaps cosine of alpha minus cosine of beta? I mean, could be, why not? And we will see at the end. I am not going to tell you whether or not that is correct. By the end, you will learn what is the real formula. So how can we carry out our proof? To make our proof, I want to draw a coordinate system like this one. This is going to be x and y. And here I will draw a unit circle. Let me draw the unit circle. It will be something like this. And what does a unit circle mean? It simply means that the radius of our circle is one and also its center is the origin. It is this point. So let's draw a let's draw a line like this. And my friends, this angle from the positive x axis to the line that we just drew, that angle is going to be named beta. And I am going to draw another line, perhaps like this. This angle is going to be, perhaps you guessed it, it is going to be alpha. And since we are interested in a unit circle, the x coordinate is going to be the cosine and the y coordinate is, is going to be the sine. So what I mean is, oops, my bad. What I mean is this point here that has the coordinate cosine of beta comma sine of beta because we are in a unit circle. The radius is one. And similarly, this point here is going to have the coordinates cosine of alpha, comma, cosine, not cosine, comma, sine of alpha. Great. But I mean, how does this picture help us to find cosine of alpha minus beta? Well, we're going to make a clever uh, drawing now. We're going to connect these two points, the blue one and the green one with a red line. These are connected. And as you can see, we now have a triangle. This is our triangle. And if I call this red line uh, L, if it has length L, then I can ask the question, what is L squared? How can I find the square of its length? And to do this, we can use the law of cosines, which I proved in one of my previous videos. You can find it from the cards right now. And using that formula, the cosine of uh, the law of cosines, we're going to get that L squared is equal to the square of the first side, perhaps this side. And that is going to be one squared because we have a unit circle. Plus the square of the other side, it is going to be again one squared minus two times the first side times the second side times the cosine of the angle between the sides. And that angle is here, this angle. And what is that angle going to be? Well, it is simply going to be alpha minus beta. So I substitute that. We have cosine of alpha minus beta. And look at this. Isn't this what we're trying to find? It is. So if we can somehow solve for cosine of alpha minus beta, we will be done. But notice in this equation, we have two unknowns cosine of alpha minus beta and L. This means we need to find another formula for L. And how can we do that? How can we find another formula for L or actually for L squared? To do that, we can use the distance formula. The distance formula is as follows. If we have, if we have, let's do it with red again. If we have L squared is equal to, <clears throat> is equal to, it is going to be x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. This is simply coming from the Pythagorean theorem. If you don't know about it, you can find it from the cards right now. I have a video about that one as well. This comes from the Pythagorean, as I said. This is the change in x, the difference in the x squared plus the difference in the y squared. It gives you the square of the length. And we need to now choose our x1, x2, y1, y2. I want to choose 
cosine of beta is my x1 and sine of beta is my y1 and cosine of alpha is x2 the other one is y2 so now we can substitute we are going to have what was x1 it was cosine of beta cosine of beta minus x2 is cosine of alpha this is squared plus y1 which is sine of beta and we subtract sine of alpha which is y2 we also square it here if we open the parentheses if we take the square we're going to get cosine squared beta minus 2 times cosine of beta times cosine of alpha plus cosine squared alpha then a plus this was the first term this square and if you, you can check it multiplying if you if you aren't really comfortable with it doing it in your head then we're going to have the other term which is sine squared beta oops that looks like a cube sine squared beta minus 2 sine of beta sine of alpha plus sine squared of alpha great and this is the second term here we can actually make some simplifications and i'm going to do that on the new line so we have cosine squared beta and sine squared beta if you have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta it is going to give you one and in one of my videos i proved that i will also attach that link and attach that video on the cards so we're going to have one then also we have another one look at this we have cosine squared alpha plus sine squared alpha that is also going to be one because we have the cosine squared and sine squared of the same angle added it is simply one so we have plus one and the rest is actually going to remain the same so we will have two minus two cosine beta cosine alpha this term and then the last term which is two minus two sine of beta and sine of alpha great and notice we now have two different expressions for l squared one is this one which we found using the law of cosines and the other one is this one which we found using the distance formula and the pythagorean theorem whenever you have two different expressions for one thing then you know that magic is going to happen and that is exact exactly what is going to happen so let's copy the first formula that we have for uh, l squared this one on the new page we're going to have one squared plus one squared so we're going to have two we have two minus we have two times one times one which is two times cosine of alpha minus beta so we have minus two cosine of alpha minus beta and this is what we are trying to find this is equal to using the formula that we found uh, here with the distance formula we are going to have one plus one which is two minus the uh, the third term the second term or what you, whatever you call it it is going to be two cosine of beta cosine of alpha minus the last term which is two sine of beta sine of alpha two sine of beta sine of alpha we see that twos cancel they are gone that's nice also we can simplify by negative two which makes this this and this to be cancelled this negative is gone as well it becomes a positive and look at this what do we have on the left on the left we have cosine of alpha minus beta isn't that what we are trying to find it is and on the right we have cosine of beta cosine of alpha plus sine of beta times sine of alpha and this is the actual formula for finding the cosine value of the difference of two angles and it turns out that cosine of alpha minus beta isn't simply equal to cosine of alpha minus cosine of beta it is equal to this expression using this formula you can also find a formula for the sum of this cosine of the sum of two angles so cosine of alpha plus beta you can also figure this one out 
by replacing beta with negative beta. So if you substitute negative beta for beta in this equation, you can find uh, the cosine of the sum of two angles. And actually, in one of in a future video, I will do this. But I really want you to try it out. Also, using this formula that we just derived, you can also uh, find formulas for sine of alpha minus beta and sine of alpha plus beta. I will also do those in the future. Anyways, this was it for this video. If you have any questions, please write them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.